some crazy happened. My WCM Plus was not communicating with my iPad. There was nothing wrong with my iPad. It was updated, I power cycled it, the cables were connected correctly, but the WCM Plus wasn't showing up. Of course, I scanned the photo, make sure I was in the right portal. I also scanned the other QR code to make sure that I was in the proper Wi-Fi, but it wasn't picking up my WCM Plus so that I couldn't communicate my iPad with the WCM Plus. This has happened to other photo booth operators, but it's extremely rare. But this was the very first time it happened to me during a production where I need prints. Later on, I learned uh, the upcoming Monday, I called WCM Plus, they said two things could have happened. They had a firewall that was preventing your WCM Plus to communicate with your iPad. Some venues have those firewalls because one, they don't want you tapping into any of their IP crazy server proxies. I don't even know that lingo, to be honest with you. And they said, or it could be that uh, if you're a location where they want you to pay for the Wi-Fi, they set up blocks as well so that it blocks a lot of the Wi-Fi signal. You guys are gonna even catch yourselves in a situation where the airdrop feature sometimes doesn't work properly. So to remedy that, they said that the best thing that we can do is connect an ethernet cable, hardwire the ethernet cable, and then communicate with the iPad. And then the other, the other side of the ethernet cable, connect it to your printer. So that way we're not relying on any air signal. So that's what we're gonna do here today all right so the first thing you guys want to do is you guys want to buy a wcm plus um, which you guys are probably already uh, own but the next thing you're going to want is to have a type c hub now this connection right over here is going to go connected to the actual ipad right over here this part right here is where your ethernet cable is going to go so as you guys can see right in here we're going to connect the ethernet cable like this oh that sounds so good do it one more time for him david just mm. All right, so this other end, like I said, goes into the iPad. Right over here, guys, it's very important that you know, um, one is gonna be for data, a data cable, and the other end is gonna be for power. So make sure you don't confuse these, okay? So where if it says USB 3.0, then that means it's gonna be for the, ca the cable that goes connected to the camera. This is your data side. All right, now, right over here on the opposite end, if you see PD for power distribution, that's this is where your power is gonna go. That way when this is connected to your iPad, your iPad is actually getting power and staying charged. So I'll place the link in the description box below. The other end, which you guys wanna do is you wanna connect it to your WCM Plus, okay? So WCM Plus, if you're using, I think an Aircast has this as well, it's gonna have an opening where you could just connect your ethernet right in there. It's gonna click just like that. Now let's co connect our WCM Plus to a power source. And let's also connect it to our printer, which I'll show you. Connect this to my little power bank right here, just like so, ba bam Then I'm gonna connect the printer to the WCM Plus, like so, boom. All right, great. So now what we want is we wanna connect this right over here. We're gonna wanna connect this to the iPad and then we're also want to connect the camera to one of the, these sides ends as well. So let me actually show you how that's going to look like. Let's do that right now. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab the cable, this, this side of the cable. This is going to go connect it to the iPad. All right. So I'm going to feed it. I'm going to grab my iPad so I can connect it to this. top right of side of your iPad, you're gonna see a little blue icon that shows the head of a cable. That means it's communicating, okay? So I'm gonna put in just two of these so we can keep the video going because I'm gonna show you the opposite end. And I'm gonna show you guys how to connect your actual iPad, all right? So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, let's jump into it. Okay. This cable is connected to the camera. This is a Type-C. So this is one of the cables that we're gonna connect to this one right here. Now remember I told you guys we wanna connect it to the one that says USB 3.0. So I'm gonna connect it on here like this. And then the other cable that's connected to a power source is gonna go connect it to this as well so that the iPad can get charged. So boom, 
okay? So now the ethernet is connected, the data cable is connected, and so is the uh, power. And the iPad should be able to communicate via ethernet cable. We're gonna go ahead and confirm that by turning off the Wi-Fi on the iPad and going to settings to make sure we have the ethernet showing. Let's do that right now. Right up here, you're gonna see ethernet. So you see the ethernet right over here? Now that the ethernet's connected, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to Wi-Fi and make sure it's turned off. The reason I wanna make sure that the Wi-Fi is turned off is because if the Wi-Fi is turned on, then that means the Wi-Fi will be able to communicate through the air, uh, through Wi-Fi with the WCM Plus. I don't want that. I wanna be able to print just hardwired through the actual ethernet cable. So the next thing I can do to test that theory is I can come over to my photos, 2024. We'll go ahead and let's pick a photo. We'll pick, uh, is this a photo? Yeah, that's a photo right there. We'll go ahead and print this one out. Hit print. As you guys can see, it acknowledges the actual printer. It says four by six, I'm gonna hit print. Now it's hardwired, so in a few seconds, right over here, where the printer is at, we should start hearing the printer start printing. Let me go ahead and focus this. There you go. Sweet. All right, so it printed out the photo and it looks magnificent. So that's exactly how you were hardwire your iPad to your printer. All right, here's a few things I wanna cover with you guys. Now, when it comes to the cable, you guys wanna get a 12 foot cable so that you can run your cable properly inside of the shell and then it'll come out out of the shell, go into your printer come out through the uh, the top right here where we're getting this power cable from it should come out through this side that way your setup looks super clean